Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today we are making a sous vide duck confit style peking duck entree thing. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it's going to be great. So let's get after it. Cue intro. Okay, so sous vide, we've done this before. Um, we're using sous vide in place of confiting the duck, which is cooking it in four liters or so of duck fat and having it bubble away for a long time. Instead of doing that, we're gonna vacuum it and um, put it in sous vide and let its own fat come out and surround it and cook it very, very slowly. Um, it comes out extremely tender and it is amazing. So, uh, we've got some duck breasts here. Let's just move a little vacuum sealer out of the way for a sec. So we've got four, I said duck breasts, we've got duck legs. Got four duck legs here. Just, all we need to do really is just um, season those up with a little bit of salt. Both sides, of course. They're quite meaty, aren't they, uh, Yazo? Quite meaty uh, little too numbers. Much coffee in my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh. oh, it's so <laughs> wonderful. Um, a little bit of uh, garlic. Whoa, Jesus! A little bit of garlic powder. Not that much. And you know what? He hasn't come next to me all morning. <laughs> Sir? Hello? <laughs> what a tweet. The uh, thing is, it works when you yell at them, when I speak to them nicely. Well, sometimes you just got to be assertive. Oh. Uh, yeah, so a um, couple of sticks of uh, thyme, rather broad leaf thyme Very. as well. Quite, a, quite interesting. Yeah, close enough. And we got our uh, vacuum seal bags here, so we just want to chuck um, two duck legs per bag. Just pop them in like that. And we just need to vacuum seal these guys. So I just pop this in here. And All done. And now we drop these guys in uh, sous vide in this lovely little Anova water bath uh, for 12 hours. Um, we have the Anova um, set at 75 degrees Celsius. It's not quite there yet, um, but we're gonna pretend it is. So just for the sake of video, it's gonna come up to temperature in a minute anyway. So we just drop these into the water bath for a little swim. and pop our little lid on. And I can make it sit properly. There we go. And that's the first step done. Um, 12 hours, so I'll take that out at some stage tonight. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. So, uh, have a drink and peace out. Go to bed and <laughs> peace out. <sister. laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.
Okay, um, we're back in the kitchen. It's tomorrow, but it's actually today. That was a pretty funny joke and you're not laughing. It's not funny at all. It's just the day after you did the duck. Right, okay. Let's crack on then, shall we? Okay, I've got uh, a couple of cucumbers here. I've peeled them. Um, and what we want to do is we're just going to keep peeling them like this. And basically peel some ribbons of cucumber, which is quite the trick, really. Stop when you get to the seeds. Yes, boss, I have done that. I'm just going I'm telling in. the people. Ah, oh, right, okay. Fuck. <laughs> uh, something like that. Just like, so you end up with this pretty little thing like that. Pop those off into a bowl. Uh, I've also got some spring onions here that I've uh, sliced up, uh, just like on the bias, like that. And because it's a weeknight, um, I'm going with some Peking duck sauce that is out of a jar, uh, because that's okay sometimes. And well, if you're going to knock something out on a weeknight, uh, any cheat or whatever that you can take, then go ahead and take it. To be fancy, I'll just put it into here. And I've got, and here's where we get all Jeff the Chef and get away from traditional duck. I've got these uh, artisan bready things that we're going to toast off. They're quite, they're a bit herby as well. We're gonna toast these off uh, out in the Kamado as well. And then we're gonna plate this all up together. So, uh, duck, duck we still have here. It's all cold. Um, left it in the bag overnight in the refrigerator. I'm sitting here talking while you're just staring at the duck, Yazo. Sorry, I don't what? know where I why, went. Why, why can't you work out where because, I want the camera now? Okay, because I'm in a different position. I'm on this cube and I I don't know. But we need you to be standing on a cube because you're four foot fucking tall. I'm actually not. You, you're a hobbit. Okay, yeah. All right. Um, I have no idea what I was saying now. Duck. Uh, taken out of the sous vide in the refrigerator, oven, uh, refrigerator overnight. So we're just going to pull this out, uh, take all the fat off. So just like that, I've scraped most of the fat off. And um, as you can see, it doesn't look that appetizing right now. But we're going to head out to the Kamado now and whack this on some heat. And it will look much prettier very quickly. And action. Okay, so Kamado's up to temperature. Um, if you come in a little bit here. Um, we've set up for a two-zone cook here. Um, this is the first time I've done it out here, searing them off. So my plan is to go on the hot side, skin side down first, and then um, we'll pop it over onto the meat side after that. And I don't know whether I'll need the indirect, indirect side or not, but we'll see. I'll probably toast off my toasts up there actually. So we'll, we'll pop those down to start off with and they can slowly warm through. And then our duck, uh, skin side down. And uh, my plan is five minutes aside, so we'll see how close I am to that uh, back shortly. Okay, five minutes. Let's check this out. Oh, look at that! Give them toasty turn over here. Hey, um, we got the time right, which is good. Uh, five minutes aside, so let's get these guys off. You told me to go back. <laughs> Look how good these are. Post done. Let's be very. In fact, I think I might use this to make sure that we don't. Because the meat is quite soft. Ow, ow. Look at that. Crispy. Okay. 
Um, okay, uh, these turned out very good. As you can tell, because Yasmin doesn't want to point the camera at me while I talk. Well, I'm showing them very well, not very good. These turned out very well. Mm. These turned out very good. It's mm -hmm. a fucking same thing. All right, uh, we need to shred our fork. And you can see here, can get close to this bit. You can see here the texture here. I mean, I don't even have to try. And look what's happening. The goodness that's happening here is beyond explanation. So we're just gonna get this all off. Be careful not to, don't scrape too hard because there's that dodgy bone there and that is a killer. You don't want that. You know, the, it's the same one that you get with chicken if you're not familiar. It's this one right here and you don't want that one. So we get this all. Chef's treat. Oh, there's like a knuckle in there. Just no, I haven't gotten it off yet. Oh. <laughs> Calm down, there's <laughs> like a knuckle. How, can you be more weird? I don't, you know how I am with this stuff. <laughs> Look, I mean, just look how it, 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 people will sit there I and mean, get me for a second. Put the camera on me for a second. People, people are going to sit there and go, oh, sous vide, 12 hours, blah, blah. Who can be bothered? Put it on when you go to bed. Look at the, look at the result here, for goodness sakes. So, look, look at, look at this. My goodness. So good. Uh, a little bit of salt. Have a taste of it and make sure that it's not too salty before you do this. Touch of pepper. Just give that a little toss through. All right, so because we're making entrees, we want to make, you know, little bite sizes. So we'll grab each of these toasts, which are nice and crunchy, and just run the knife through. Who took a chunk out of that one? That's all right, we'll be okay. Oh, and we'll arrange them on our little board. <clears throat> little bit of... <sighs> You've got to include that. <laughs> oh, shit. Use the knife. <laughs> That's not annoying at all. Okay, so a touch of hoisin on each one. Okay, a uh, few pieces of cucumber on each one. And then we add some of the star of the show. Just like that. And a little bit of hoisin over the top. And finally, dress with some lovely spring onions. Well, that comes up really nicely. Yes. And if you walk around at a party, uh, with this in your hand, um, there's only one thing you hear from everybody and that's wow. Um, because that not only looks good, it tastes absolutely fantastic.
a bit of a, I need a napkin, but anyway, we'll make do. Cheers. Get it all over my face. Not too bad, just don't eat over my ones. <laughs> mm. How good is that? I'm so good. Um, yeah. Um, cracker, a uh, little dish that, uh, one of my favorites for sure. As I said, always a, uh, a bit of a wow factor. And um, when people come over and you wanna have a glass of wine, you wanna make something that's epic and this, Along with a couple of others on our channel, the um, scallops and the prawn dishes, um, just fantastic little things that's, that people don't uh, people don't really expect. So uh, give this one a go. We're going to dig in now and eat because Yazo has been giving me shit that I've been taking too long. So we're definitely going to do that. Um, thanks for hanging out with us and thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like what we're doing here, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.